light, light, the speed of light, the wavelength of uh, light, and the frequency of light. And this is a uh, sort of uh, concept problem as well as just a calculation problem. So let's see if you catch the concept. Um, but this particular first situation, we've got a beam of red light traveling through a vacuum. The wavelength is given, 688 nanometers, and the frequency is given, 4.36 times 10 to the 14 hertz. Calculate the speed of light, exclamation point. We're in a vacuum. We're trying to find out what the speed of light is. Well, we have a formula, so you might just pick this formula up and uh, identify the pieces. C is a symbol for speed of light. Lambda is a symbol for wavelength, F for frequency. And we've got the uh, values given, so let's go ahead and put those in. The nano becomes a 10 to the minus 9 factor. We need standard metric units of meters for the wavelength. The frequency is 4.36 times 10 to the 14th. And hertz is a standard unit. I'm going to write this as 1 over seconds. Um, when we multiply this, we're going to get meters divided by seconds. And you should do this on your calculator. Um, I'm not writing down all the digits that were displayed, but 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Is that a surprise? No. All light. All light has a speed of 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. There was no need to do this calculation. All light traveling in a vacuum has a speed of 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. It doesn't matter what wavelength it is, what frequency it is. If it's red light, ultraviolet, infrared, radio, gamma, x-rays, all light has a speed of 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second in a vacuum. Well, let's do another one that... Uh, is more typical in how the calculation might be performed. We want to calculate the frequency where we're given ultraviolet light, again, traveling in a vacuum, and the wavelength 270 nanometers, 270 nanometers. So, again, speed of light, wavelength times frequency, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. We're given the wavelength 270, 10 to the minus 9 meters. And we want to calculate the frequency, so we have to divide both sides. Uh, 3 times 10 to the 8th divided by 270 times 10 to the minus 9. Make sure you get a minus on that exponent in your calculator. When you divide these two numbers, you get 1.11, and I'm not writing down extra digits, times 10 to the 15th hertz. Is that a reasonable frequency for ultraviolet light? Up here we had the frequency for red light, 4.36 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Now we're getting 1.11 times 10 to the 15th hertz. Yes, it's reasonable. Ultraviolet light is more energetic. It has a higher frequency than red light. And if we would go further to the short wavelengths, x-rays, the frequency would be higher. If we go to the gamma rays, the frequency would be higher. If we would go to infrared, the frequency would be smaller than the frequency for red light. So you ought to be familiar a little bit with the uh, trend of both wavelength and frequency from the gamma uh, ray side of the electromagnetic spectrum to the radio side of the electromagnetic spectrum. But concept, speed of light is always 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second in a vacuum doesn't matter what the wavelength frequency is. If, if this doesn't come up with 3 times 10 to the 8, somebody gave you bad data uh, for the wavelength or frequency. If you're given the wavelength and we're traveling in a vacuum, speed is known. You can look it up in front of a book and uh, divide by the wavelength to get the frequency. So keep practicing on that. Review concepts always before you work problems.